try a little assimilation. And I'm the one who puts the pepper spray to Jose, sure. But all they give me is a gun and pepper spray. Pepper spray is a spy from Mexican. Just flip me off. That's right. I'm at the border with a stop sign in one hand and an attitude in the other. Yeah, a border patrol man. I'm keeping America American. rolling we got sound action welcome back to my documentary about border patrol officer buford gomez in our last exciting episode officer gomez received a mysterious call while in the middle of his border patrol seminar is it the u.s government is it the narco death threat a robo call offering him a gabo vacation package let's take a look Buford, it's for you. Could be government business. Hold on a sec. Oh, oh. Hello? Baby, when are you coming home? Come on now, honey, it's you. Oh, oh sorry, folks, my wife. H honey, I, I'm, I'm working. It's official. That's right. Hi, it's his wifey, Ned. Oh, boy. That'll make ratings. Hey, Nigel, you gonna cut that out, verdad? Yeah, hey, keep rolling. Yeah, no, what if I was undercover? Like when I do that Huggy Bear character? Huggy Bear? Huggy Bear, my undercover name. I'm a Jamaican uh, pot dealer. Huggy, uh, hey, my name Huggy Bear. You know, using the Jamaican. It does work. Okay. Oh, I ain't gonna say that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, don't put my mama on. Don't put my mama on. Mijo, Mijo, when are you coming home? I made you some jello. Mijo, come home. You need to fix the TV. All the places, the animal planet. Yeah, see, my yeah, my boy got some with Temprano. Oh yeah, Jello, okay, Rico. Yeah, I want Vitamina. That's good. Uh, all right, Mom. Okay, listen, I I I gotta go now. She gets confused. Leaves the aquarium. It's basically animal friendly. What he says. So. Get home. I want a baby. <clears throat> all right. Sorry about that, but you know women. Don't worry. My job is tough, and little ladies. I always word, wear a bulletproof vest and a lead jack jock strap just in case I get radiated in one of our checkpoints. My mother's proud of, of me. My father passed on, he died in a trucking accident. He was listening to Sarah Barella and fell asleep at the wheel. I heard gravity playing on the background of the, on the black bond. She's the new Enya. I'm sorry. I'm okay. My mother's very supportive of my work and she even uh she even volunteers for citizen patrol. So she got so many talked so many times by the organization. She actually decided to go and she's out there to volunteer. She questions people that are citizens. She arrests them when she finds out they're not citizens. She loves the mission, decides to join. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, she's a communicator. She, uh, she loves meeting international people and passengers and questioning them. She's at airport, bus stop, you name it. Yeah, you know, your world's getting mobile. We should too. Okay. Cultural evolution is what we're doing here. That's what we're doing. We are ensuring the strongest and the fastest undocumented person or illegal alien, whatever you want to call them, is here. See, I haven't evolved. I'm a perfect hunting machine. I'm like a, I'm like a big cockroach. Cockroach hasn't evolved in over a million years. Buford is perfection. He's like a big cockroach. Yeah, that's right. The cockroach is not evolved. And wait a minute, I didn't solve myself. Yes, you did. You just didn't know it. All right. So. Any questions? Hey, Buford, we got a Guero guy on Zoom. All right, let's talk to him. Yes, uh, hi, I'm Rick Gutierrez. I grew up in San Diego about 15 miles from the border. I'm your typical Mexican-American. So I, I want to know, why am I always being stopped by the Border Patrol? It really angers me. First off, my family fought in Vietnam. Uh, two of my uncles served in Korea. My uncle died in World War II. Did he fight on the American side? Hmm. Uh, yes, he was on the American side. Hmm. Where's your mother from? Well, she's from Iowa. Yes, Boone, Iowa. There are lots of Mexicans there. Well, well th see, they were on the train going to Texas and her family fell asleep and then they woke up in Iowa. 
but I grew up on Midwestern cooking. Ham, string beans, corn on the cob, all wrapped together in a flour tortilla. Now, I'm Mexican-American, more importantly, I'm a US citizen. I mean, I'm American, I'm an American. My family has paid their dues, but I'm getting stopped by the border patrol. A lot of Latinos are in Arizona. If I'm not mistaken, two out of three Latinos have been questioned or stopped by the border patrol. It's like, do you have your papers, please? I feel like I'm in one of those World War II movies. Your papers, please. Your papers, your papers, please. Hey, he's a pretty good actor. His German accent was flawless. Yeah, now look, is it the point? Is this a real question? Are you using this for your acting real? Are you an actor? The point is, is the Border Patrol racial profiling? That's my question. Buford, okay. we got a radical here. We got a real radical here. Okay, I, I don't like you, guys. I don't like you. Yeah, I guess this is kind of an anti-fascist vibe. Mm -hmm. anti yeah, yeah. Are, are you against fascists? You anti-fascist? Yeah, you know you're a real troublemaker. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pepper spray you. No, Jose, Jose, Good no. thing you're on Zoom. No, Jose, Jose. You guys suck. It hasn't been helpful at all. And America is anti-fascist. That's what World War II was about. Said, that's not a question, that's a sediment. He's using sediments, he's not asking okay. questions. You're, you're ignorant. That statement, Jose, statement. Oh, okay. Okay, all right, not said. Now, sounds like there's some anger there, son. Now, let me get this straight. You are not wearing obvious Mexican clothes, right? You have no K Viva Mexico sticker on your car, no, <laughs> no Viva Puerto Vallarta, no, nothing like that. Is your car low to the ground? Are you eating a chimichanga or listening to some Los Tigres del Norte or Los Bukis or they, you know, anything, anything like that? Does your car smell like chorizo? All right, I'll handle this radical, okay? Let me handle it, that's my job, okay? All right, yeah, okay. You have an older relative, maybe a grandmother in braids, a grandfather wearing a vaquero outfit, mm -hmm. uh, things like with large mustache, either the grandmother or the grandfather. Anyone got a mustache, okay? Now. Well, the answer is, you're just unlucky. Yeah. Unlucky, that's what you are. Real, it must be some sort of karmic debt. I deported some Buddhists once, and they told me all about karmic debt. You may have some karmic debt. I don't know, Olympia, whatever you need to figure that out. Because there is no racial profiling. The Border Patrol does not do racial profiling. No. Okay, all right, bye. Now calm down, a lot to cover here, folks. Let's describe a typical day in the field. All right, I'm a field agent. Let's go to the field. Jose? Jose? That sounds like my car. Is that my brain? It, that, that, oh, damn it! Damn it! Jose, that's government property! Oh, hell, I knew he was never going to catch me. All right, folks, listen. I gotta hit myself with my gun over my head and say overpowered me. All right? Damn it, just talk among yourselves. <laughs>